tower AB subtend the right angle at the top of tower PQ. If the angle of elevation of the top of tower PQ to the base of tower AB is 60 degree, then find out the height of tower AB and height of tower PQ. So my dear student, this is a tower AB, this is a tower PQ, 15 meter apart. According to question, it is given that the tower AB subtend the right angle at the top of tower PQ. So this is a right angle and also given that the angle of elevation of top of this tower to the base of tower AB 60 degree. We need to find out AB and PQ. So let us find out the height of PQ first and triangle PQB. PQ upon QB is 1060. So height of the tower PQ is 15 root 3 meter. Now in order to find out AB, let us first find out BB. So again in the same triangle, base upon hypotenuse, QB upon PB is cos 60. Base upon hypotenuse, QB upon PB. So it is 15 and PB, this is equal to 1 by 2, cos 60, 1 by 2. PB is 30. Now listen here student, these towers are erect, so this each angle is 90 degree, this is also 90 degree and this is given 60, so 90 minus 60, so this portion will be 30. So angle ABP is 30 degree. Now in triangle APB base upon hypotenuse PB upon AB is equal to cos 30. This PB 30 cos 30 is root 3 upon 2. AB is 60 upon root 3. In this situation, let us rationalize the denominator. Multiplying in numerator and denominator by root 3. Root 3, root 3, 3. So it will be cancel. AB is equal to 20 root 3. So height of the tower AB is 20 root 3 meter. So at a glance see once again. These were two towers and a right angle at the top of this tower. And the distance was 15 meter. So with the help of this tower, the triangle, we found the tower PQ's height. At the help of this triangle and using this cosine, we found the height of tower AB. So these are the answers.